Okay, so I just want to continue. I was uh, at first. I'm doing this uh, taping with my iPhone, and I got a phone call. So I'm just going to continue on with what I was saying before. <clears throat> so basically, we reviewed how to floss with your fingers and some dental floss. Now, let's say you're having trouble with your fingers. You're finding that it's uh, you can't get anywhere. You can use one of these. It's a floss holder. There's different models. And so it's very easy. You just have to put your floss around this, make it travel along the little track, again going down, wrapping it around. So there, now you don't need to put your fingers in your mouth. You can use, you can put this uh, little floss holder. So it'll be the same thing. You'll tease it in between the teeth, scrape the teeth. So if this is your tooth, what you need to do is you want to really do a, like a semicircle around the tooth and adapt it to the side of the tooth so you will go ahead and scrape the plaque off. This is one of the ways. The other is they sell these ones. They're disposable little flosses. The only problem with these, let's say you're using it on your teeth and you've had a lot of work done also and you have fillings that are catching a little bit you'll find that the floss will get a little bit loose so you won't get the same tautness as if you were holding it with your with your fingers but I'm not gonna be picky <clears throat> you know if you do floss that'll be fantastic another thing I want to show you if uh, you're having trouble flossing another thing you can do is using little brushes between your teeth so this is by gum it's called soft pick so it looks like a little toothpick with a little brush so what it'll do is you put it between the teeth if you look at a tooth it, the enamel goes like this and then and turns around so in that little triangle where you have gum tissue if you go in there and you put this little brush in between you'll find that you'll be able to clean all the plaque that's sitting near your gum line between your teeth it won't go between your teeth of course because it's not floss so if you are prone to getting cavities it would be a good idea for you to floss because every time you floss you go past the contact point where the two teeth touch and very often that's where they'll get cavities so you want to keep that area clean but if you find uh, you can maybe alternate one one day you using the little soft picks and the other day you use dental floss um, uh, it's handy also you can keep it in your wallet so this is something you can always have with you dental floss well you have to wash your hands and it's a, you know takes a little bit more um, cleanliness though I've heard some people do it in the car which is must be amazing and in addition to these little brushes we also have brushes that are a little bit bigger so people that have braces, you can fit it between the brackets. Uh, people that have bridges and that have uh, uh, bigger spaces between their teeth that need to be cleaned, you can use these little brushes. And there's, they also come in different sizes. So basically, that's it for what I use in the office. Oh, one more thing. Another thing we use is a floss threader. And that's for people, again, who have braces or who have a bridge that you just can't go through the teeth. So this is like a big sewing needle. So you just put the floss like this and then you will be able to thread it through the two teeth that are uh, together and go underneath the bridge or underneath uh, the wire of your, of your orthodontic braces. And, but I'll, I'll try to go into that a little bit later when we do talk about bridges and, and maybe orthodontics. So <clears throat> basically that's it. I would recommend that you would floss once a day. Now, us professionals, sometimes we're a little bit fussy and we tell you it has to be done right before bed. Yes, that's ideal. But if I'm going to lose you and you're not going to want to do it then, I think it would be better to do it once a day whenever you can and that's fine. You need to do it every 24 hours. So this way the plaque that will build up on your teeth won't have time to change to tartar, which is the hard deposit. Once you have tartar, uh, we have to use instruments, we have to use ultrasounds to remove it. The longer the tartar stays, the more it calcifies, the harder it gets. So that's why it's really, really important. I know we sound very pushy when we're telling you to brush twice a day and to floss once a day. 
but there's a reason for that, and it's, it's basically it's it's a race against the buildup of tartar. So um, I hope that answered a few questions, and if you do have other ones, just let me know. Thank you.